Thank you very much, Nina. Uh, I have only been director for three weeks, I think, and I'm the crash course in learning about research centers. I think there's so much more uh, about them. But anyway, we have a reactor. Uh, who is the former dean of the college, uh, Professor Josie Wu. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, salamat sa opportunity na mag-respond sa sinulat nila lang. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, reading the work. Uh, uh, I learned a lot about the sociology of organizations, and, uh, particularly uh, Luman. Uh, one of the questions, though, that I was asking myself, uh, because uh, in, in, the, in the dissertation itself, uh, Luman is interspersed uh, in many parts. Uh, I mean, the, the dominant question was, is Luman's the appropriate framework to use? And uh, to a certain extent, uh, Leland was able to uh, affirm that uh, indeed by using Luman, uh, there were certain dimensions that uh, he could not otherwise have been able to talk about and he, he did not focus on certain things like decision. So uh, the, uh, the, 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 the dissertation is almost like a running commentary on why and how this particular framework helps elucidate the phenomenon that is being written about. Uh, Luhmann's theorizing seems to me to be apt. I wonder though whether there are other questions that need to be uh, uh, brought out uh, which might have escaped uh, using Luhmann as the framework, uh, dominant framework for analysis. Uh, I don't know. That could be uh, from the sociological uh, theories uh, side. Uh, the second point that I'd like to uh, mention is that uh, as far as I see, uh, there is no input in the quality of the output of the USRCs in terms of contributing to scholarship. Uh, Leland mentioned that uh, at the outset that uh, he, he acknowledges that knowledge production is uh, one of the dominant, uh, one of the foremost uh, uh, purposes of universities. Uh, uh, but it seems to me that the study is more really about how the USRCs function. Uh, I did not see much in terms of how the USRCs contributed to knowledge production in the universities, uh, as far as I saw. Uh, uh, what would be the implications for the duality of social science research within the USRCs, of the relations with the university where they are housed, as well as the audiences to which the USRCs is addressed. Uh, he did not mention it in his presentation, but in the written work, he talks about uh, the USRC's uh, relationship with the university, but the USRC also has relationships with its audiences, uh, which can, I mean, not only the funders, which can also, in a way, uh, form expectations of the centers, which the centers respond to. I mean, a good example would be Third World. Uh, Third World has definite uh, audiences, which uh, I would think it responds to even better than it does the university, uh, UP. Uh, because the, the audience of uh, uh, the Third World Center is to some extent also very reactive and responsive. Uh, so what would be the implications for social science research? Uh, if, if we are taking, if we're going to take into account uh, uh, viewed from the, from, the, from the perspective of the impact of knowledge production or knowledge generation. Uh, what do we learn from this study on USRCs regarding how they can be structured such that a certain level of quality research and productivity is enhanced? Uh, I don't think this is discussed in the work, uh, but, but, but you mentioned it in your comments that uh, uh, the universities that recognize the value of research look to the centers uh, but uh, there is no mention of how the centers responded in terms of knowledge production coming from the center uh, towards, I mean, helping out the universities. The last point uh, is uh, autonomy for what? Uh, what research expectations were communicated either by the university to the center or the audiences to the center? What institutional arrangements are optimal for regular and assumed quality output by the USRCs as a whole? Is there a correlation between the quality of research output and the organizational characteristics of the USRC? Uh, for example, if I may make mention of the Population Institute, uh, part, I think, of the reason for their productivity, aside from getting a sufficient amount of funding, is that, uh, well, the level of staff, uh, most are PhDs, uh, most have been trained abroad, and they really are academic, you know, in, 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 
in character, like they really do uh, academic research. Uh, so that even if uh, they generate the data, which even the School of Economics uses for their white papers, uh, still the uh, professors at the Population Institute also publish, as Leland mentioned, in academic journals. So perhaps universities are not definite yet about knowledge production. But uh, this study on USRC is, uh, I think is very significant because US area study centers, for example, are proliferating. For the area studies, the Kamapanga Study Center at uh, Angeles University, the Bulacan Study Center at uh, Bulacan State University, and so on. Uh, West Visayas Study Center in Bergao. So that uh, I think uh, many of the insights that Leland has, uh, has put forth uh, might also be relevant for the other uh, regional centers in terms of the relationship between knowledge production and the university itself. Thank you.